Today I'll be teaching you how to create an elegant title animation in Adobe After Effects. So I'm here in my After Effects where I prepared a composition and the first step is to create the actual title. So I'm going to select my title tool by pressing Ctrl T. Let's type elegant here. Let's just format it a little bit. I'm going to change it to Eras Demi. I'm going to change the size to 175. I'm going to change the spacing to 200 and I will center it to the composition like so. I'm going to come up here to this pan behind tool here. Hold down control and double click it just to center the anchor point. And now it's time to animate the text. I'm going to come down here to my text and I'm going to click on animate and I want to animate the position. I'm also going to add a property of opacity, add a property of line anchor, add a property of tracking, and I'm going to add a property of, let's add some blur. So let's change the position here to negative 150 or maybe let's do negative 100. Let's change the tracking amount here to negative 70. We want to leave the tracking type at far enough and the line anchor at 50. And let's change the blur to 50. Maybe let's actually go 100 on the tracking amount. That is nice. And let's change the opacity to zero. Now I'm going to come into my range selector here. And I am going to put the offset to negative 100 where our animation starts, enable keyframes. And I'm going to go forward one second and I'm going to put the offset to 100. So now we get this thing going on here. This looks goofy, but we're going to fix that. I'm going to come into advanced. I'm going to click on shape and ramp up. Ease height to 30 and ease low to 100. And at this point, we should have a really beautiful animation already. Take a look. That's nice. That's already super nice. So at this point here, I'm going to click on animate again. And I'm going to add another position here and to a second animator. And on this one, we want to change the position to, let's say, maybe 40. And maybe here at 20 frames, 10 frames before the other animation ends. We want to put the offset to negative 100. Go forward maybe 20 frames to 1 second and 10 and put the offset to 100. All right, I'm going to come into advanced again here. Change the shape again to ramp up. Ease high to 50, ease low to 50. Now we should have this thing here where text comes down from above, from the center, to a little bit below the middle, and then goes up to the middle. Let's see if it does it. And I really, really like this transition. And if you want to make it a little bit better, so here where the uh, second animator ends at the uh, one second and 10 frames, we can add some scale animation. So I'm just going to select my tile, press S to keyframe the scale. I'm going to go forward, uh, let's do 10 frames and change the scale to 110. Select both my keyframes and press F9. I'm going to come into the graph editor here. Go to 115 here, the middle of our animation. I'm going to drag on the scale keyframes here and maybe make it so it goes to 70% influence. Something like that. Let's see how that looks. I mean, that's beautiful. That's super elegant. That's super easy to do also. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new. If you did, then please make sure to like and comment on this video. Also, please consider subscribing. It really motivates me a lot. But anyways, take care, guys. Bye bye.